What is up YouTube, Jared Spalding here, and today I'll be talking about what I believe are the five weirdest metals that people invest in. Now to qualify for this list, these metals didn't just, they couldn't just be metals that people would buy, you know, scrap of or whatever. They had to be metals that people would actually buy in bullion form, you know, one ounce or whatever in actual pressed bars and that you could find on eBay. All five of these metals I did find on eBay and I could find them in their purest form in bars and designed as a bullion. So, I'm going to jump right into the list here of saying number five is titanium bullion. bullion. Now, I don't think that titanium bullion is all that strange if you think about it. It's a weird metal to invest in, but titanium is going up in value because of a lot of industrial uses and the fact that it's rare and very hard to work with. So, putting it in depressed bars is very difficult. You know, you got to have special... Uh, you know, melting chambers to work with titanium it has, I mean, it melts at like over 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is a very difficult metal to work with to get into pressed bars. And like I said, it is getting very rare. So I can definitely understand this one more than some of the other ones on this list, which brings me to number four, brass bullion. Now brass, I just don't ever see it being much more value, value than it really is right now. Because it really is just brass. You know, it's used in instruments and stuff like that, I suppose. But it doesn't have a lot of industrial use. Like, you know, it does. it's not used for making a lot of, like, vehicles. It might be used for making small parts. I'm not even sure. But it's not going to be used for making you know, huge vehicles or even vehicles that are of normal proportions. So I just don't see it being ever very that valuable. Of course, you know, some people do still invest in it. It can be found just like any of these other metals. Now number three is iron bullion. Now this one's I mean iron bullion is really hard to find. You know, uh, it's not very common at all. Uh, I mean, I figured it is worthy of this list, but it's... And it does have a lot of use industrially. So, I can understand it, but it's still a weird metal to invest in. And of course, you're going to be playing a lot over spot price. Like I said, this one's even harder to find than the other ones, which is surprising. If you if you look up these items, so you know there's not very many at all of any of them in their bullion forms. Now, number two would be zinc bullion. This is just very strange to me. Zinc just doesn't seem like a metal ever worth investing in because it it does have use, but there's a huge abundance of it and there probably always will be and with any of these metals you're going to be paying a lot of your spot maybe with the exception of titanium because that metal is pretty valuable but it's just very strange I think to be paying for zinc in bullion form of course you you can only ever really find art bars of these so it is kind of kind of um, difficult to get ones that are at a fair price anyway which makes it even more of a weird re thing to invest in and now number one is aluminum bullion and aluminum kind of just like zinc has a lot of use but it's a lot of, of it 
and it can be really easily found in tabs and you know soda can tabs, a lot of jars and all sorts of stuff like that. So people do save their aluminum, and including me, I do to pull off the tabs off cans and save them. But I'm not going to be investing in it as a bullion because if you think about it, it really is just aluminum. You know, it's it's really not going to be worth ever that much. Now, one honorable mention I wanted to put on here was nickel bullion. Nickel is actually worth a little bit more than these other things on here. It's just also very strange to put in bars because a lot, I know a lot of people will in Canada they'll um, find older nickels that are pure nickel and they'll save them because they're worth more than their face value or whatever but as a bullion it's also very strange to me copper bullion I actually do put as another honorable mention on here because although I do see some potential for it it can be so easily found in US coins that it is a very strange thing that people have really started investing in and what's really strange about it is unlike these other metals it's really blown up a lot of copper bullion can be found online so I mean I guess that is it it's the list tell me any metals you thought should have been on here and with that I'd like to say thanks for watching peace love and much respect